Hey, everybody. Two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton, and this is my buddy Charles Beeson. What up, dude? Today, we're checking out a Patreon pick for Propagandi Without Love off of the Supporting Cast album. That's an interesting way to spell cast. That's all. Why is there an he at the end? It's like a group of, you know what I mean, like a group of people. I thought that was still spelled without the E. I don't know. I'll, we'll look it up for you. This could just be my ignorance. It, uh, no. <laughs> we have a whole lot of that going on here. Especially when it comes to uh, anything to do with any kind of movie things. Each of the hereditary classes of, uh, oh, that's the Hindu society. But dividing society into hereditary classes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't like dividing people. So the supporting cast is probably like wor working class. Oh. Well, that like explains you're why supporting. I don't know that. That's what I'm guessing. Maybe. Oh. Let's jump into the song. All right. <laughs> All right. Was the first to finally fade away from my grandfather's memories. Will how up till the day my memories of film finally fade away. Dissolving into gray. It's breathe just the ticket of an unwinding. Clock counting down the time it takes. Precious breath you've ever wasted I did everything I could I wonder with the universe Tip cake by love instead of hers But no amount of money, drugs, and tears To keep her here What purpose did her suffering serve? Precious breath you've ever wasted Halfway point Well This ends instrumentals kicking ass Dude I just got lost in it It was good shit like, I have no idea what's going on lyrically because I just got uh, lost in the instrumental there. Lyrically, I'm thinking so far this is kind of like um, somebody's uh, basically like kind of coping with. So the beginning came off to me like they were coping with aging. Um, all in nature ends in tragedy. Death. Yeah. And I was the first to finally fade away from my grandfather's memories. And how long until the day my memories of him finally fade away? Dissolving into gray. Is breathing just a ticking of an unwinding clock, counting down the time it takes. So this beginning part kind of gives me um, they're kind of trying to cope with um, the aging process. Okay, but, and then obviously death in the long run. But then farther down here, um, somebody close to him died, and he wanted. He said he would give his life instead of her, taking hers, basically. But no amount of money, drugs, or tears could keep her here. What purpose did her suffering serve? Is breathing just the ticking of an unwinding clock, counting down the time it takes for you to comprehend the sheer magnitude of every single precious breath you've ever wasted. So I Life think, is short. Yeah, I think this whole thing so far is kind of coming to grips with um, death and then, like I said, the aging process and just and like... Grief. Yeah. Gre like, I, think it's, I think it's that broad, more broad spectrum of just death in general. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think, but the thing that I, I wouldn't put it all under death is because there's stuff like what purpose did her suffering serve? Like that thought process is not, it's it's trying to come into coping with why she died. 
Yeah. What purpose did that serve her dying? Yeah. Like in the universe, like trying to just wrap your head around that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which mean you've both been there, you know, with a loved one passing and like uh-huh. trying to come to copes with that and not understanding it all. And then yeah. things feel pointless for a while As- after. Because especially you're just like, at those younger ages where we oh, were. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's hard. So, because I mean, I was 14, you were 18. That's probably all right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, so far, it's a really beautiful song, even for how hard the instrumental is going. Lyrically, yeah. it is. It's deep. very nice. Yeah. Very deep. Yeah. Yeah. And then and his vocals <laughs> sound great, too. Yeah. I mean, just the whole overall sound of it, I was just like, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is and there's that much going on in the song. <laughs> yeah, wow, it's good shit. Ooh, I'm impressed so far. Yeah, let's finish it out and see what happens. Yeah. So much misery. So much indifference. So much suffering We can become tempted By appeals to hatred This world ain't nothing more Than what we make of it Revenge ain't no solution To the inevitable pain Single one of us was facing losing The kindred spirits in our lives Not so brief, so disappointed, so confusing It's cold slipped away I have her in my arms reduced So please don't leave me Just here to remind you That without love Freedom just a ticket go Well, I definitely feel there's a a little bit of a deeper story going on here behind the lyrics that Mm -hmm. I'm not picking up on just probably because I don't know, you know, the history of the the song. Poor Crone. As Crone slipped away, I held her in my arms, reduced to please don't leave me. What will I do? But this cosmic sadness is just here to remind you that without love, that end part is just a beautiful addition. Breathing is just the ticking of. Um, And... uh, it's one of those things it necessarily it doesn't necessarily need to be like um you're in love with somebody yeah it could be family friends yeah. like it doesn't matter um but without that interaction things would definitely feel a little more meaningless yeah, oh yeah. there's a lot of like philosophizing in this song in the lyrics a lot oh yeah. in general and i really dig that i love the uh, deeper meaning and just like the questions that are being asked mm-hmm. in the song I love exploring things like this. Yeah. Especially like philosophy and stuff, even though, you know, there's not really an answer to all of it. Yeah. But it's just, I love pondering it. Yeah. I really like just the the premise of, hey, we're going to, how it's built out, I guess. Like, they're just putting out all this stuff like, hey, all of this is just time ticking away. You're wasting your time doing this, doing that. And then at the end, it's like, well, we're just, it's, the world's just going to remind you that without love, breathing's just wasting time. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Like, life is a waste yeah. if there's no love in the world. Yeah. Regardless, like you said, of what kind of love that is or anything like that. It definitely would feel more meaningless. Oh, for yeah. For sure. Just kind of like when you lose a loved one and you have that uh-huh. initial feeling because you're, you know. Yep. That's gone. Um, Well, damn, this is, uh, first of all, really deep meaning lyrically 
And like I said, I think there's a couple meetings going on here. He's kind of talking probably about a personal story. Um, or a couple. Or a couple. And then, couple but like the stories. overall, you know, vibe that I'm getting is, you know, the song's like about time, death, mm-hmm. and then some a grip trying to understand the universe. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Um, I really dig that. Uh, I'm a his, fan. His vocals were great. So for me, do you, do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? You can go first. I'm going to go with an 8.2, and it's going to go in a playlist. Like, there's, I have no complaints about this song. You copy me? No. Oh, okay. Okay. No. Close. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Because, I mean, looking at the lyrics, and then the second half, I really tried to focus in on the lyrics and catch what all was going on. And just the depth of them and the meaning behind them and the just different scenarios that were presented within it, along with an instrumental that can absolutely distract the hell out of my brain. Oh, for sure. Which those two things going hand in hand are absolutely beautiful. I'm going with an 8.4 on this one. Hell Playlist yeah. for sure. Definitely a fan. Good shit. Good shit. Good pick, Patreon. Yeah. Thank you for that pick. I Bye. appreciate you. Banger. Fire. I I feel like it's weird calling it a banger and fire when it's like has a deeper, like a very depth to the song. <laughs> it's still yeah, that fair. instrumental though is banging. It's it's still a heater. It is. Shit's ripping. Like it's not gonna get me all super pumped up, but it's gonna get me all like in the feels. Yeah, yeah. And it's weird because Which is where I want my music. There's a lot of a lot of times. Momentum with the instrumental. Mm-hmm. Which with the lyrics, it, like the lyrics are more casually delivered. Yeah. And the momentum of the instrumental is a little bit more, I, I don't know, it's a higher pace. So yeah. you what you think it wouldn't hit you in the feels as much. Yeah. But it, it, it really works together nice. It, it does, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. That's all I got, though. That's all I got, too. Guys. We're two boys. We have one brain, so do us a big favor. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you want to join our community. And until next time, guys, peace out.